Hey y'all, I'm coming to do a video tonight. Um, I just uploaded a video that I actually recorded last night, but I just uploaded it. Um, you know, this, I, I'm just going to say it now. Um, this is day one. Um, you know, I made a video, you know, saying that my mom passed and stuff. So tonight is day one of, today was day one of me getting back into the gym. Y'all, I felt so bad. Like, seriously, I, was, I, I thought I was going to die. I mean, I haven't actually worked out, worked out, worked out in about five months. So, yeah, it's hard to believe that, you know, that time, you know, has gone by. This is like me going home, taking care of her and stuff like that. Um, it's weird that, you know, she has, she's coming up on two months since she passed and I'm okay. Um, but that's not, you know, that's not what this video is about. Um, I was just wanting to get that out of the way. Um, cause I did make a video in the video last night. I did say I gained about eight pounds since, um, since November and you know, my Zumba instructors, both of them was like, Oh my God, what happened to you? You know, we was, you know, wondering where you was. Um, cause you know, we're here on, the, you know, I live on a military installation and I, my Zumba instructors, all of us are military. Um, and they knew my husband had and came back from deployment and stuff like that. And, you know, and I was telling them everything. And when I said I gained eight pounds, they was like, oh, girl, that's nothing. You know, you know, so even my husband was like, don't beat yourself up. So, yeah, tonight is day one. My hair is twisted and pulled back in a ponytail. Yeah, y'all, it was, it was a hot mess, but I'm getting back into it. So, anyways, I'm going to talk about um, Black Ink Crew and also Love & Hip Hop. Love and hip hop. Isn't, I'm not going over the whole episode. I'm just going to give my thoughts on the foolishness. Okay, so let's go with Black Ink Crew first. Okay, this was... They saying season 3, episode 7. Y'all, honestly... Black Ink Crew has to be, honestly, one of the most ghetto productions. Because I've never seen a show like this. Black Ink Crew will come on for six seven weeks they won't say on the season finale they won't say nothing and they will be gone off for for months and come back and still say it's the same season so y'all so we are supposedly in season three i don't know at this point i can just go with what the god says yeah Okay, I'm going to skip around. I say that in all my videos when I review stuff. I skip around. I ain't even writing nothing down. I'm just going to talk off the head. So, first of all, I was liking... I'm, okay, I'm going to go I'm gonna go person to person. I'm going to start with Duchess. I was actually liking the new Duchess. You know, the, the Duchess that was not with Caesar. That was come to work, do her job. Hey, how y'all doing? I'm here for my clients. I ain't here for the foolishness. I'm going home. That's the Duchess that I, you know, that's, I, I was really actually starting to like that Duchess. But tonight, she went back to the old Duchess. Why do I say that? When she was talking to Donna, when Donna was like, I want to start tattooing. And Duchess was like, but you're an apprentice. And it has to be when everybody says you're ready. First of all, I don't feel like it has to be when everybody says she's ready. I feel like it has to be when Caesar says she's ready because he is the actual boss. Like, I understand that it's like when, when Duchess and Caesar were not together, Duchess respected her place in the business. You know, she was like, hey, I'm an employee. I'm here to do a job. I'm coming in here and do my job. Like I said, hey, how y'all doing? I'm going home. But it's like now that they done got back together and, and they done got engaged, you going back to this whole, well, I'm with the boss, so I'm a boss too. I'm the boss too. And I understand that, you know, in some sense, yes, you are. You know, you're engaged to him. Um, you have a sense of entitlement. Completely understand that. But her whole demeanor, her whole attitude has completely changed. Because you was really professional. You was borderline. You know, you was nice, professional to people. Now you going back to this whole y'all are minions. And, I mean, she didn't say it tonight, but that's the, you know, that's what she giving off. You going back to that mentality. So I'm just not here for that. Also, while they were talking, she told Donna, she was like, well, I, you know, you, you come in here. I'm really happy that you look presentable today or some, some kind of way she said it because I can't take you serious half the time. Okay. I completely understand that. I have a friend 
who my friend is natural which i did talk about her in my video last night because i said that you know our textures are completely different and she got the texture honey that if i had hers i would be twist out city bantu not city but she really don't but she does a lot of different things with her hair that i don't do like she colors her hair a lot i don't do it you know what i'm saying i mean it'd be pretty colors but i'm i'm just not gonna do it with my hair because lord it took it long enough to grow so i ain't doing nothing to set it back <laughs> but so i know i've been around a person that dyes their hair a lot i've been around a person that dyes their hair you know funky colors and stuff like that and she went up for a promotion at, at my old job and she was actually told well we're not going to give you a promotion because we don't feel like how you dress and how your hair is okay somebody kind of told her that like under the table a little bit and just like she said y'all it was a call center it wasn't like we were actually in an office setting where you know um clients are coming in and stuff like that so and even some of the upper manager people coming in with tight skirts and all this is hoochie looking half the time so yeah why why am i why is you know she was like why is my parents holding me back the same with donna i just don't feel like y'all in black ink okay y'all are in a tattoo shop i don't see you know most people that are tattoo you know that work in tattoo shops and blah 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 that's how they look if we go back to uh miami ink and i can't remember the la ink i think that was cat the, the girl cat von d was her name yeah we all know that's how she looked she had the tattoos and the hair and we're coming in with shirts you know hanging off and you know i mean because it's a comfortable setting it's not like they are they are in you know an office on wall street or something i mean no you know you know they're not stockbrokers and you know they're not working in an environment where you have to be very professional so and also look at sky sky coming and looking looking a mess to me because y'all i'm sorry but i feel like if you're gonna dress half half the time how she dressed you need to have a body for it and she does not even my husband tonight said why he, he was just happened to be in the living room laying in there with me. And he was like, what you watching? Why her pants sagging like that in the back? When Sky came in, when they found out Caesar went to jail. Why my husband was talking about her pants being sagging in the back and her not having a booty? Y'all, I was in here dead. But, I mean, but even with her, with her lack of body, she, you know, she dressed with a little bit of stuff. Duchess, you have dressed with little tight little short stuff tonight she had a very tight um outfit on when she was doing the girl tattoo so i'm like how you sitting up here you putting donna down for her hair because you can't be talking about tights and leggings because duchess wear tights and leggings but yeah y'all i was just like duchess you just been you been the old duchess with this hill like with that girl hair like mm -mm. like i said it she's it's not a professional setting okay so also since i'm on duchess as far as caesar going to jail i do not understand what was so hard about her calling somebody saying hey y'all caesar is in jail we gonna be longer because the whole while they don't even know that old shit done went to rehab so they thinking he can do people tattoos he ain't there I, I don't understand i'm with sky i don't understand what was so hard about her picking up the phone and calling somebody that was very unprofessional if you want to be the boss okay since you want to play the boss again you have to be professional and as a boss you should have thought about your your business since you want to make it seem like you the owner now you should have thought about your business and said hey y'all just letting y'all know caesar locked up or we gonna be a little bit longer or whatever like that i just felt like that was very unprofessional caesar yeah donna is way better than me because even like i said my husband i watched the show um but he was in the living room he was in the living room and he heard and he heard caesar talking and even he was like yeah why he talking to that girl like that she better than me because that girl wasn't saying nothing that was not true. 
Just like my husband said, the, the porn star from Chicago, she the real dummy for damn. Why would you? Why would you schedule to come way to? to I guess she was trying to just be on TV because I'm sure they have good tattoo artists and stuff in Chicago or somewhere closer than New York. Like, and then on top of that, you have come there five or six times. Like that, yeah. You look like a damn fool, seriously. But for him to tell Donna, I'll fire your dumb, like, no. I feel like that, that right, y'all, Caesar to me, Caesar has this attitude of, he, he tries to give up this persona of, I'm the boss, I can do what I want to do, I'm the man in charge. But really, to me, he act like a, to me, he, he's, he, he, he seems like he's very insecure to me. Like, even though he try to come off like I'm the boss, but I was like, whoop, whoop, I feel like he's very, he's an insecure person. Because for him to even come at that girl like that was so disrespectful. I don't give a damn if you my boss and I'm your employee. That was disrespectful. And that was crossing the line. That was unprofessional. You know what I'm saying? Like, any way around it, he was wrong. Period. Point. To the blank. He was extremely wrong for that. He came at that girl sideways, which honestly, the only thing the girl was saying was, hey, y'all could have, he, he, she was pretty much saying, look, this girl done came five or six times. She done put $200 on y'all. She done, you know, to reserve this. She done came five or six times. What am I supposed to tell this girl? Like y'all, all I'm saying is, hey, y'all need to communicate with me so I can tell people. And he, you stupid and blase whoop whoop and I'll fire you. I don't fire other people and I'll fire you like, I feel like that was so extra. That was just very extra on his part. And I feel like he was he was doing that to kind of get attention off of himself. So Donna, baby, kudos to you. Cause in that situation, you was the MVP because y'all ain't no way. Ain't no way. I would have politely cussed him the hell out, told him about himself, and fire me if you want to, baby. Because I'm not finna sit up and let you talk to me in no any kind of way. Like, seriously. And is she even making anything? Is it even worth it? Okay. Since I'm on Caesar. I'm, Y'all, I'm saving the juicy for last. I'm saving Donald for last. Since I'm on Caesar. I felt like Caesar, I understand he tried to explain it. And he, I look at, um, I look at him. What is his name, Lord? Uh. Walter, Walt. I look at Walt like a little brother and but I don't care about that. I, I don't. I don't care about none of that shit he's saying because that was to me, Caesar was acting like a ass. And y'all know I don't even do a whole lot of cussing. He was acting like a behind. Like, seriously. I, I was with Walt when Walt got in his feelings, like y'all Walt Walt was like I got that vibe like Walt was two two seconds away from really telling Caesar what and what. Like, yeah. Walt was, mm, Walt was like, this ain't nothing, you know, Walt was like, this ain't no laughing matter. Like, you know how my family situation was. His mama was on drugs, you know, pretty much his whole life. Then when she finally did get clean, which is great, um, she wasn't living that long. After she got clean, she ended up dying. Him and his daddy, he said the exact date the last time he talked to his daddy. When he was 15 years old, it's a grown behind man. All these years, 15 years done went by. You know, 15 years went by before he found out his daddy had passed. So for him to say, I don't have a mama, I don't have a daddy, you know, they gone. I'm an only child. I need, to, which I think he only child, you know, that he, you know, his mama's side. I, he said, I always knew I had a brother. It was kind of, you know, but I just never knew how to get in touch with him. So. This is something that is important to him, you know, because this is a way for him to connect with his father. So for Caesar to just be like, that's stupid and that ain't your sibling. And I know people who have gone their entire lives not knowing or not, you know, being around their biological people. And then when they finally meet them, they want to have a relationship with them. Like there's nothing wrong with that. Also, I kind of, I kind of side eyed uh, Sky because when they went, you know, when her Teddy and Walt went to see, you know, his brother Walt's brother, 
her and Teddy was sitting outside and she was like, oh, that was awkward. That's, you know, it was kind of intense. It was emotional. And she kind of giggled a little bit. Scott, were you just a couple, of, a couple of episodes ago saying that you never knew who your biological father was? That you thought somebody else was your father. That you really want to meet him. You really want to have a relationship with him. And you want to meet your siblings. So I'm like girl. You just said the same thing. So why are you. I mean she didn't do like Caesar. No. But why are you kind of sort of poking a little bit of shade. Just a little bit at Walt. So I didn't. Walter I understand. So that's Caesar. I'm, I'm done with Caesar. Walt I understand. Oh Caesar going to. Try to talk to the actual owner of Ink124. Y'all, that was so messy. Ugh, that was just messy, Caesar. Come on. I mean, but it is very ironic that um, Puma, you know, talks so bad about uh, Black Ink and all this stuff. Oh, I, I got a whole two-story, which y'all, honestly, I was like, from, from jump, shade or not shade. I'm like, wow, really? Because... It's, see, Puma and Oh Shit is running a race in my book for the just filthiest. So, you know, he, they just both look so dirty. So when he was like, I have a building, I have my own tattoo shop, I have, I have, I, I have, which I understand, you know, he has, you know, won some awards and stuff like that, like community awards, but still, y'all, come on now. I was kind of sort of side eyeing it a little bit. Like, is this really your tattoo shop, Puma? So when it came out that he was not the actual owner, y'all, I wasn't shocked. But I, I was like, Caesar, that's real petty of you to try to try to go, and you know what I'm saying like you trying to take this man, you know, food out this man's mouth, like that's petty. Then for him to kind of get mad at the bit that the actual owner for saying, hey, look, I ain't trying this. Look, he was pretty much saying, look, you being messy, I ain't finna get into that. Okay, I respect that man for that. So that's how I was Caesar. Sky and Teddy. I y'all I don't understand that because even she said in the night, the only reason that Teddy is checking for me is because I got somebody else. So I don't understand why she all of a sudden, you know, is like let I don't y'all, I just don't understand Teddy and her. Who else? Okay, so I don't talk about Puma, Caesar, Duchess. Well, okay. I don't I understand what kind of got in his feelings about his dad being cremated. Um I mean maybe that's all the people could afford. I mean you really can't get in your feelings that much. I mean he didn't get in his feelings hard, but he was like, My father ain't supposed to be in no box like that. But I said maybe that's all they can afford. I mean, I just buried my mother. funerals are not cheap. You know, honestly, they're they're not cheap. And sometimes, even if the person has insurance, sometimes it's not enough to cover everything. Because, yeah, that's just a whole other conversation. Okay. Let's just go ahead and get into it, honey. Donna and Anna. First of all, I have to say that at this point, any woman who is willingly laying down with oh shit, something has to be wrong with her at this point. Because first of all, oh shit just looked dirty. Like I said, him and Puma in my eye is running a race. Like seriously. He looks dirty. Then he stay raw dogging people. He stay raw dogging people. Like, dude, do you not know what a condom is you and donna donna done came from some whoever knows well and is your roommate but y'all sleeping together unprotected then you got Anna over here like and am i the only one well i know i'm not because my husband caught it too did y'all catch donna say that oh she said this is my fiance Since when her and no shit was engaged. For real. Y'all, I'm a wife. If I was Anna, I don't blame Anna. I would have two-pieced Donna too. But the only thing about it is Anna got a baby. 
So yeah, on a girl, that was some. Mm, you gotta think. You gotta look at it different now, baby. You, you have a child that's only a month old at the time, and so yeah. But let's let's pretend like she ain't had no baby, cause Donna, you was being real, real disrespectful. First of all, you being disrespectful by, by sleeping with this woman fiance. First of all, second of all, you pretty much laughing and acting like it's a joke in this woman's face. You pretty much know it ain't gonna end well. Like, yeah, I don't blame Anna. But y'all, I'm sorry. I don't understand what is there to fight over. And if I was Anna, I'd let Donna have him. I mean, Donna's, Donna's not ugly. She's not. She's an attractive person. Her teeth just... Mm, mm. But even my husband was like... He was like, no, she ain't ugly, but I'm just not into all the tattoos like that. Like, me either, y'all. I can't with the face tattoos. And, yeah, I, I know people who shave their head. But, honey, I don't know. That's just too much for me. Sorry. I got tattoos, but all that is just too much. But she's not an unattractive. You know, she's not ugly. But I just, I see her and oh shit together more than I see him and Anna together, honestly. I do. Just be honest. I see them together. I guess she gonna be, unless he get this vasectomy in time, I guess she gonna be baby, baby mama number four. But y'all, I just, I just was like, wow, we fighting over old shit now. And, and Anna, baby, you was real dumb for jumping out of a moving vehicle. Yeah, baby, you was, you was pretty dumb for that, I, I must say. So, yeah, y'all, on the next, like I said, Donna said that she had a fiance, so I can only assume that she's because she said my relationship is over if he finds out. And on the next episode, it's gonna be oh shit on the phone saying it's over. You got in a fist fight with my baby mama, so we have to assume that that fiance was him. So yeah, so y'all, we just you know yeah, that was crazy. Speaking of crazy, let's now transition because it's going to be quick on Love & Hip Hop. Like I said, I'm not going over everything. I'm just going to go over some key things from tonight. Number one, Yandy. I don't really blame Yandy. I'm with Yandy on this kind of sort of. You know, I feel like, first of all, Mandisi's was... I, I Honestly, I feel like Mandisi's problem is that he was gone for a year. And even had he not been gone for that year, Yandy is the one with the money. He got a little money too. Excuse me. Y'all, the heater coming on. I gotta hurry up now. He has, you know, he has a little coin too. Coin, nah. But Yandy got coin. You know, Yandy, yeah. If you Google it and you, you know, if you're into that thing, because I only reason I did it one day is because they were saying some, somebody was on one episode they was throwing shade and you ain't got this you ain't got that and Yanny was pretty much like I can buy you so I said okay I want to look yeah Yanny has coin tough and you know you put that T on the end it means something and I feel like he in his feelings a little bit because he was locked up for a year but in that year she was still doing her she was still making money yes yeah, she was handling his businesses or whatever but I just feel like because Kim Bella, one of them said like he feel like maybe he he feels some kind of way or some some kind of way she said it, but yeah. So I feel like I'm with her. That his little assistant or whatever, girl, bye bye. Uh uh. Cause I feel like that was I feel like she can't. Cause when she came in there and asked him, "Oh, you good?" Like she had a smirk on her face. Like so you that. No, nah, bitch, you fired. Yeah, bye bye. I would have did the same thing. So I don't feel like he. I don't feel like Yandy was wrong in that. Um, also, I was going on my nose. Also, I really felt some kind of way last week when he told her, "Oh, you a bad mom." First of all, dude, this girl has been taking care of your kids while you were gone. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, I'm like, so that don't mean nothing. Also, I guess maybe next season or something, the other baby. Because 
you know, he has a child that is like a year older than their first child together with then their little boy. He had at first, y'all, they was keeping it real hush hush. He wasn't on social media with his baby or nothing. But now he actually has him on his Instagram and stuff. So maybe at one point the mama was saying that she didn't want her son on the show and all this stuff. That's what Yandy said. That's what Yandy said the child's not on there. But they have the child every weekend. But he's just not there when they film. So maybe that's gonna change. Because he, I mean, honestly, since this season has started, this he has been all over um, Mendy's um, Instagram. He's still not on Yandy's, but he's all over Mendy's. Okay, so that's them. Um, who are you? Lord Amina. Y'all, we just need to have a silent prayer for her, because I, I just cannot stand this whining she be doing, like... How you tell Peter, I don't want to, you can't live in my house. I don't want you in a sense. That's what you're saying. But when he say, okay, I'm single, you get this high-pitched, annoying voice, cry, whine thing going. Girl, oh, no, I came with her. She's so, I can't, I, I, me, me and my husband, we say, we, we say, like, Lord, will you bless us with a child? Don't make our child be a whiner. Neither one of us. I cannot stand whining. And you a grown ass woman. Like girl why is you whining like this? Ooh I can't. So yeah. Okay who else? I'm going to talk about. I wonder. Y'all don't wonder if Kimbella is going to be on the. I'll say that to the end. Okay. Who. I, I guess I missed the memo. But since we in the rich dollars. Since when the rich dollars become back the bachelor number one of New York? Like, really? When when did this happen? Because I'm lost. When did these women start fighting over him? First of all, let me just say it like this. Diamond. Y'all, something wrong with that girl. Seriously. Ser seriously. Something is really wrong with her. I don't think it's for show. I don't think it's for the show. I think this is really what she feels. Because I know people like that. Who you sleep with them one time. Or something like that. And y'all are together in their eyes. And I yeah. Y'all when I tell y'all. Facebook was blowing up tonight. Because I was. Yeah. I was in so many conversations about her. Period. Like girl. I don't know. Y'all, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's to make herself relevant. A part of me is like, are you just doing this to make yourself relevant? But then, I mean, you're already on the show. So I don't think that's it. Like, really? Like, I, I really think that she's really psycho. I mean... I'm sorry, y'all. I would have... I'm trying to think of somebody that actually... You know, I mean... If this was like, I don't know, Tyson Beckford or somebody like that, maybe I could see some women just losing their damn mind over him. But Rich, no, I just don't get it. I mean, I'm not saying he, in my eye, he's not like a but ugly person. No, not to me. I mean, he's he's an, he's an okay looking guy. I mean, I, I would say attractive in, in his own way. You know, he's not attractive, like, model attractive. Like, Tyson, you just look at him and say, that don't make no damn sense. <laughs> like, no. he's But he has his own attractiveness, if you will. I'm making up words. But, mm, I just, mm, it's just not enough for y'all just be losing y'all mind over. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I just, y'all, I was so lost. I mean, really, like. Child, the girl. Seriously, I think something's really wrong with her. Like for real. Okay, this is what I was gonna say about Kimbella. I wonder. I would not be surprised if Kimbella is not back on the show next season. Let me, let me say this real quick before I get into it. Chrissy. Let me look directly. Chrissy, why are you lying saying that you are thirty-five? I told, I called my husband in the living room. I said, baby, look at her. How old she look? He's talking about 45 or so. I said, well, she said she's 35. 
He said, well, then she must have had some rough years cause really, Chris, please let that go. Please, baby. Look here, it's 2015. Women are not shame of their age no more. Women are still having kids in their 40s these days. It's some women that's in their 40s that look better than half of the women in their 20s. So there's no age shaming anymore, honey. So let please let that go because you ain't 35. But Kim Bella, the reason I say that is because Erica Mena is no longer going to be on the show. Um, from reports, she didn't even do the uh, reunion. She did not film the reunion. She did like Jocelyn and Stevie J them did when they just had like and like they had to do one year for their for the New York reunion where everybody had their own little interview. That's what she did. Um, you know, cause she honestly, y'all. If, if nothing else about Erica, I will say that she is very smart. Okay. Oh, I don't know what's going on with my nose. But I feel like she used Love & Hip Hop, you know, and she said, she has said this in interviews. It, it has ran its course for her. She has her own clothing line now. She models, you know, when she was modeling and stuff before and doing videos before, but now she's actually, she did Playboy. And me personally, I didn't see nothing wrong with it. It was very tasteful. Um, I saw a post on Facebook on one of them blog sites, you know, how it posts on Facebook and people was like, oh, she, she talking about she ready to be somebody's wife, but yeah, you doing Playboy. If you actually look at the pictures that she did, she did not take her clothes off. You don't see nothing. You don't see no nipple, no nothing. It is very, very classy. It's not the typical Playboy spread where you open <laughs> the centerfold and, you know. So, yeah, I I, I, I feel like she's very smart. I, honey, I don't blame her. You mean to tell me I'm going to marry somebody who is now, you know, who has money, who is now on, a, you know, actual show that's on network television. Um, which I have, you know, I am watching the CSI Cyber. It's actually, I like CSI, so, you know, I, I like shows like that. Um, so I do watch that show. Um, but you won't, you, you're engaged to somebody that's on mainstream television. No tea, no shade, no pink lemonade. Shots out to RuPaul Drag Race. I got that from there because I love RuPaul Drag Race. Um, but no tea, no shade, no pink lemonade. I would have did the same thing if I was in her, her book. I mean, really. I don't understand why people say... Well, I guess I do. People talk about their appearance. Y'all are the same age. Actually, he a year older than her. But Bow Wow is just small. He's small natured. And she loves heels. Because if you look at pictures of them where she doesn't have on super, super high heels, you can tell he's taller than her. Like with no heels, no nothing. He's actually taller than her. But for a guy, he is, you know, on the shorter side. But I don't understand why people be like, oh, that look like his mama. Come on now, y'all. That that's just hating to me. But yeah, she said that she's you know this is her last season. If you have noticed, she has not honestly since she said that they got engaged. If you notice, the scenes with her have gotten less and less and less. She has not other than her in the very beginning getting into it with saying you. She really hadn't been in no mess really, and I feel like that's smart. That's very smart. Something else that I noticed with her. Like now that she is transitioning and she is leaving this show, she's doing, you know, she's putting her son on her Instagram and stuff more than what she was doing before. So, y'all, I'm like, OK, kudos to her. Who going to take her place? And since recently they have had Cambella on there, you know, so I said, I wonder if Cambella going to come back to the show. But, yeah, I'm, I'm not mad at um, Erica. I would do the same thing, honey. <sighs> Now, I mean, because he's not going to be on the show. He and, and to me, he doesn't want to have any real association with the show, really. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm not mad at that. I mean, they have they did um, a very nice spread engagement photo spread type thing for People magazine. I think it was beautiful pictures. So kudos to Erica Mena. For saying, you know what, I've been ratchet for the TV. And even she said, she said that that who you see on TV is a persona. It's not all of me. You know what I'm saying? I, it's another side to me. And it's time for me to let that side out. And for me to let that person shine more. 
and my man needs somebody on his own kudos baby and from my understanding going on her because I, I just go to people instagram sometimes i'm not even really on instagram like that but she has had um she did a picture with a celebrity event planner who was you know really good from my understanding so honey this ain't no shotgun bootleg no this is and she wants her wedding and stuff to be very upscale um you know so hey kudos to her i can't be mad at her i feel like that's you know she has been on there is she like the last she's her and rich i think they the last two standing i think but yeah um i wanted tahiri would come back i would love to see tahiri come back but yeah so i wonder if you know if now since erica's not going to be on the show um reportedly you know that's you know reportedly since she's not going to be on the show um she like i said she supposedly did not even film the reunion show so because she said she you know her man needs you know a woman on his arm that can stand by his side in all situations and kudos to her so y'all that's it like i said the bulk of this was black and girl because um like i said y'all we need to sign a petition or something to try to get diamonds some psychiatric treatment because clearly something is wrong with her seriously um like i said i don't know if this is my new little spot but at the bottom hold it down it's me and my mommy um but yeah y'all that's it um let's see i will i said i was gonna do catfish so i will be doing another video on catfish wednesday night um yeah oh side note am i the only y'all i just the game ended last um season like the season finale was last week and then they're gonna have one more season after this y'all i just don't like i just did not like the last couple of episodes because i was thinking i was thinking is there something tomorrow that i gotta watch but yeah or wednesday after uh empire of course but yeah i just so, you know i just did not like the direction of the game how it went at the end i hope who they supposedly already filming it so but i would i'm just not feeling it at all but y'all as always i do thank y'all for watching if you watch my videos you know if you subscribe to my channel thank you very much if you don't you just watch the video thank you very much um i make videos strictly because i like doing it um i don't tag like i don't link any of my facebook or twitter or none of that to my videos um because all of that is separate so yeah i just make videos because i like doing it um but like i said thank y'all very much for watching